What China is trying to achieve with One Belt, One Road is to help the development of countries in, in the region uh, with strong trade linkages to China, try and, try and make those even stronger. Uh, and it's a combination of, 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 of outward investment from China into those countries which will, will help their development and then hopefully in the long term you know, that will boost global demand and, and demand for China's, China's exports. So yeah, it, it should be, it should be a win-win win -win, uh, scenario. Well, I think he's absolutely right to call on the BRIC countries to maintain the idea of openness. Obviously, the One Belt, One Road initiative is designed to open up societies, to open up governments, to open up business communities for investment. Uh, President Xi has been extremely uh, open and communicative in this regard and trying to make sure that all of the countries, and not only the, the BRIC bloc, but also the countries that have an interest in the BRIC bloc are maintaining open, cooperative, and collaborative relationships. Um, look, this is a recipe for success globally for not only China, but for everyone who is cooperating with China and their initiative in One Belt, One Road. I think that when you uh, want to have partner countries and together to engage in a process of growth and development, you cannot limit your intervention only to one factor. The development center of the OECD is directly involved in the One Belt, uh, One Ring, One Belt Road uh, initiative. In fact, uh, it, it has, uh, this initiative has created SILKS, which is a network of the tank, and we are founded members. Uh, so, uh, in general, we look positively to this initiative this is a strategy that concerns the different countries and is a strategy about international cooperation for development. Therefore, the initiative is much welcome, particularly now where sources of growth globally are limited. The point is how to implement these initiatives and here we will participate to the process and therefore we will do our best so that uh, China and the other uh, country on the One Bed, One Road can learn also from other experiences. We as Russia, we are the road as well. Uh, so we have high hopes for this uh, strategy and we believe uh, this should be even more. There really was a dream of uh, one people from uh, Lisbon to Tokyo you know, from Murmansk in the north to uh, Karachi in the south, or it should be uh, Chennai in south. So Eurasia as a continent really is becoming much more connected. And the way China is driving it with infrastructure investments, obviously a lot with economy, a lot uh, is good. There should be a driver like China. Us as Russians, we are hope to be a vital part of this strategy that we may actually see a reversal of globalisation. And we think that would be, would be damaging for the world economy in, in the medium term. And we think it's important that countries try and resist this, uh, the, uh, this approach uh, of, of increasing protectionism. Um, so uh, trade between emerging markets, between, between Brazil, Russia, China, India, uh, has, has grown very strongly. Uh, and, and these initiatives should, should help that continue. So uh, we, we think it's a positive development that efforts are being made uh, to, to, to ensure that globalisation does not come under threat.